going into space provides a, I think, potentially extremely important vision of a hopeful future, and that's worth something also. So I would hope that uh, those of you who have votes on these issues would, uh, of course, make sure that real justification is given for pr proposed expenditures, especially very large expenditures, but that you will also bear in mind that there is a large part of the National Space Program which is clearly, uh, with a huge margin, cost-effective, and that there are intangible factors that may be difficult to quantify, but that might be nevertheless extremely important. Thanks for your attention, and I'd be glad to take uh, questions on this or anything else on your mind. I understand there's a mobile mic. Here it comes. Anybody? Before we take another question, let me uh, say to the congressmen and women that are here, we've had the second bells for a live quorum to be followed by a vote. And uh, we'll have to run over and respond to that in just a minute. I want to leave uh, Rob Wrigley, my administrative assistant, who I know is here. Rob, where are you? I'll leave you sort of to close things down in case we don't get back in time. But uh, since we may not get back before you have to leave, I want to thank you on behalf of everyone here for coming. And we will try to come back and uh, be with you some more. But thank you, sir, very much. Thank you, Congressman. Neil, I'm, I'm in favor of the... I'm in favor of the nation's business being done, so please, please don't worry about me. Are uh, there no other questions? Well, if um, <clears throat> that concludes our discussion today, and uh, Dr. Sagan, thank you on behalf of the Congressional Clearinghouse in the future. Thank you. And thanks for some very provocative and interesting questions. I enjoyed it. The Congressional Clearinghouse on the Future is a legislative service organization founded back in 1976. It helps members of Congress address new issues and emerging technologies by providing them with research and other resource information. The Clearinghouse claims a bipartisan membership of more than 100 House and Senate members. If you would like to comment on Professor Carl Sagan's remarks, you can write to the Clearinghouse at 555 House Annex Number 2, that's in Washington, D.C., and the zip code is 20515.